that's a really nice ATV trail. It's actually really pretty. It's wide and there's a little bit of greenery growing up through it. And oh, it's just gorgeous. But we came from there. And now we get to go through here. You can see these marks here. I was through here. That bone's been there for a while. That's a leg off of a cow or a moose or something. Somebody's jammed it in the crotch of this tree here. But they also left some garbage. This looks like it's an old bear baiting site. Tree stand right there. I don't think I'd climb up there anymore, but the ladder's a little bit funky. Argo seems to be holding together just fine. And we're about two, three miles north of the private property, heading in towards Pasquaska Lake. This is actually looking west right now. I figured I'd come up here. I've got a archery moose tag and a black bear tag. So do a little bit of camping, a little bit of exploring. That mushroom's a little past its prime. Something's definitely been cruising up and down the line here. pick a direction. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon. I left the house about noonish again. Never in a hurry to get out of there. Seems on the weekends. <laughs> well, onwards we go. We seem to have encountered a very busy beaver. He's dammed up the creek that flew, flooded across this trail. And now it's underwater. And those spots there that you can see that look like puddles. That's where he's been digging to get all that material. And he puts along 
right on the edge there so you can hold the water back so they are deep enough to float my Argo. I try going in there and then it drops off. He's built a, a run that goes right through there and it's probably about three feet deep. So I get out and walk around and poke stuff with a stick for you everybody, but uh, I don't know what muskeg is, kind of like this. And that's probably know, maybe a couple feet deep. So find the Argo is barely sinking in it. Maybe a couple inches of water. But if it breaks through, there's nothing to winch to. And you have to call a helicopter, and that's probably gonna be a retardedly large bill so let me poke around a little bit more and see if I can get over to that other side there you see that down tree actually that one right there this could be a bit of a problem Mr. Bear needs to slow down and chew his berries a little better. That's a, well, that's a decent sized bear looking at those tracks and that pile of poop. Probably at least a five footer. There's another pile a little ways down there. So we know we got some bears around here. Easy way to clear a tree off the trail. I'll show you around camp a little bit. Comfy chair cooler, trans your frying pan, awesome stuff. So this is a 10x10 10 10 AquaQuest Defender tarp and I just picked this up on a little holiday in BC. This is a Eno the Eagle's Nest Outfitter Camo Nest XL with that with suspension. It's uh, pretty swanky. Just got my CF winter bag in here. And I actually borrowed my missus's uh, inflatable pad. Very nice. I like this hammock a lot. Nice carabiners. The straps are awesome. And the old Argo. This is actually a new part of my collection. Visited, well, actually there's two things in my collection now. <laughs> it's a Silky Katana Boy 500. Awesome little saw. Can't recommend it enough. Uh, this is a, according to the serial number, a 2000 
JM stamped Marlin 1894S and 44 Magnum. Bubba had it before me. He put the slip on recoil pad on, took the plastic one off, but eh, whatever. It was also kind enough to drill some holes in the stock for I don't know what. And front sight just flopping around up there in the dovetail because he probably pushed it out the wrong way. So put my trusty three to nine Citron Big Sky on there. Way too much optic for this gun. And I'm actually gonna be fixing those irons up right away because this is supposed to be a handy little camp gun. And 44 mag is just enough for some of the visitors we get in camp around here, so. I'm getting hungry. I think I'm going to throw a steak on. Yeah, nobody believed me. Hey, it's fall time. Well, these are starting to walk up. He knows it, but uh, his missus kind of donated a few things out of the freezer while he's at work. <laughs> uh, okay, it's much appreciated and put to very good use. Mr. Bear shows up, he's going to find that this bear burrito is extra spicy. <laughs> uh, play some games on my phone, let the fire burn down, call it a night. Big morning, lots of walking. Good night.